Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. And you guys, um, sorry that I was not able to get online earlier today. I don't know what was happening. The stream just would not happen. So hopefully I'll be able to try to find a way to get in touch with you guys during the week again, going absolutely live. But this is going to be a singles reading. We're going to take a look and see who's coming towards you for uh, the rest of June. Okay, so uh, let's get into this. So you do have loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, which is awesome. Hopefully you are in that energy during this time for June. <clears throat> Someone is definitely, uh, I feel like you will be attracting new love. There might be someone specifically who is looking at you and really attracted to <clears throat> how you love yourself. Okay, but we'll get into more and see. Oh, wow. You've got, you deserve love. You are lovable. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> Virgo. Okay. Letting your friends help you. Religious factors and a new love is coming okay virgo so you might have like i don't know just kind of picturing you know like you're it looks like weird i just had a, I, I don't know why this keeps i keep going back to this but i just had that image of when sandy went to frenchie and was like can you help me <laughs> can you help me so some of you might be going to a friend or some friends and asking like <clears throat> if they could help help you maybe I don't know work out a new workout program or do something aesthetic something change with your hair um, seeking support some from some friends someone helping you get more spiritual helping you to meditate doing more like self-care self-love kind of stuff um, you also have your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path okay so there might be something connected to your spiritual life like I was saying and you've got a new person here who will be stirring your romantic feelings. Okay, let's take a look and see if we can find out more about who this new person is that's coming in for you. <laughs> Virgo, you're doing some changes, maybe for the summer as well. Okay, so we've got the Ten of Swords. So who is this new person coming in for Virgo? Okay. Oh, hello there. King of Swords. <laughs> Virgo, you can't get away. Like you just cannot get away from this King of Swords. <laughs> I don't, hopefully this is not the new love. That's the person that you were connected to, but I don't know. You must have some kind of connection. It's a, Merc a Mercury connection. So there's some kind of connection to an air sign for sure. There is somebody coming in here who is... It looks to me like they're single. They've their a relationship has ended. There's something done here with this person. They are very highly intelligent, strategic type of a person. They are Oh, I just I hear a dog barking. Maybe they have a dog. They might have a dog. Okay. So this would be Libra Gemini Aquarius showing up here sometime before the month ends. Okay. For some of you, this could be somebody that you work with. Okay. Some of you might. I feel like you meet this person, Virgo, um, when they're in town. They might be in town um, on a trip for work. Um, I'm also picking up someone that... <clears throat> It could be for some of you, this is someone that you're already talking to, that you're at a distance to, and um, they're actually going to make some kind of offer to connect with you. You might just have uh, some, some of you might already know this person, you have some type of connection to them, um, where there's like some kind of communication with them somewhere. But I also feel like um, if you're traveling in June, you're going anywhere, you, you may be meeting this person when you're on your travels, okay? And I don't even, like, as far as, like, your travels go, you could be going on vacation or going somewhere far, or you might just be 
attending some kind of function or you are, I mean, this could be like, you, you know, you're at the grocery store, somewhere away from home. I mean, we don't have, for some of you, this is like eight miles away. It could be eight hours away, that kind of thing. But there is a connection, somebody coming in here who is at some kind of distance to you, at, at, you know, not in like you're like really close to you, but not, it could be far away, but not for some, it, it's, could be overseas i will say that but the connection between you might be an online thing as well okay um now for some it could be just someone who's eight minutes around the corner okay let me see what else can virgo know about this person so i also feel like with the king of swords um they're a big communicator so they are someone who does uh, maybe they work in communications or they have some kind of job of some sort where they they speak to people a lot like they have a lot of um i just keep hearing communications of some sort okay let me see what else they might also work in um the legal field or in law they could be like a lawyer or they work for like the justice department or department of justice or they have some type of connection to something legal as well but in the way of like communications let me see what else does Virgo need to know about this person coming in. Oh, wow. Okay. So page of cups. So there's the communication. So there is some type of message. I feel like you will get phone call, text message, could be a voicemail, something along those lines. I'm not picking up past energy, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm not really picking up that energy. So if that doesn't resonate for you, you know, this could be somebody new for you. But also, um, yeah, there's some kind of like text message, ask somebody asking you out or flirting with you, um, communicating with you in some way, um, seeing something like, yeah, it just feels like, it just feels like someone who is, I don't know, I just feel like asking for your phone number. I see someone putting somebody's phone number in their phone as well. There's something like that. Now tell Virgo how this is going to go. Like, how is this connection with this? Um, I'm also seeing someone with blue eyes. They have blue eyes. Okay. Tell Virgo, how is this situation going to go with this person? Ooh, okay, there's the emperor. Wow. Okay, I do see a child. Do you see someone that has a child? Or a, they have offspring, whether it's young or teenager or someone who's in their 20s. They're, this is definitely someone who's a parent. Um, okay. Huh. Interesting. So, yeah, there's some kind of event that this person, I feel like, I don't know if it's a graduation or a birthday party as well. There's some kind of outdoor event of some sort where this person will be. But I feel mostly like they're hosting some kind of an outdoor event. I'm just picking up, like I see like a tent. Oh, stuff's like just falling like crazy. Okay, that must be a sign. Um, they're, at, they're at an outdoor, outdoor kind of event. Either they're hosting for someone um, or it's something to do with children, okay? Something to do with children. Let me see what else. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's some kind of like celebration of some sort. Yeah. You'll connect with this person. And some kind of like party or reception I hear in June. For some of you, this is like a charity. This person runs some kind of a charity of some sort. And you connect with them. Wheel of Fortune. And for others, there is something obviously to do here with gambling or financial investments or um, I feel like this person has a lot of money or they work around a lot of money. Okay, let me see. What else can you tell Virgo about this person? This is such a cute little reading. <laughs> it really is. I feel like this person, okay, this is your person. Wow, the emperor and the empress, like they go together. Okay, that's the energy. Now they could, like I said, they could be, I do see an air sign. I will say that. I'm not going to say they could be. I do see that they are an air sign. I know somebody like, no, not another air sign, but I don't feel like, 
uh, this person comes across to me, whether they're in the Empress or the Emperor energy, as um, mature, stable, grounded, nurturing, uh, a leader type, uh, masculine or feminine energy. Yeah, this is a match. I feel like you're going to be connecting with someone that fits you, like a puzzle piece. Oh, I know I just saw that. There you go. So this is going to turn into like a proposal, a long-term relationship with this person because you two um just fit the empress and the emperor aries uh, we also have libra i'm sorry taurus what well, could be libra because king of swords is there oh wow this is like really great virgo you've got the magician wow this is like a magic this is going to feel like magic i mean just it's just a kind of connection where <clears throat> I feel like you two meet and it's just a perfect match. Especially with this magician, it's like creating something beautiful here. This definitely, even with the four of wands, I mean, this is going to turn into a long-term grounded type of a relationship with this person. You just fit well together. You just, you do. Okay. That's Gemini energy there. Okay. Yeah. It's like the end of the struggle here. Um, you might have been just kind of like, when are you going to meet your person? When is it going to happen? It might have been like so laborious, uh, difficult. Um, I don't see a struggle with this relationship. It just flows very beautifully. Like you two are just a good match here. I love this. I just do <laughs> for you. Okay. All right. Yeah, the information comes to you. So I just kind of feel like Virgo from this person, um, they have been traveling a very similar path to you and always looking for the one for themselves, like the, 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 the perfect, not the perfect person, the, but the perfect person for them. I feel like they have been on this journey to try to, you, you guys have been like living parallel lives, but not knowing the other exists. And you guys just kind of come together. And I feel like when you meet or when you connect, here you've got new love, a new person stirs your romantic feelings. I feel like these feelings are going to come up for you where some of you may have felt like or feel like you, you never thought you would meet somebody again or you never thought you would have those types of feelings or feel those love feelings. Things are going to move pretty quickly with this relationship, but not too quick where it's crazy, not major like love bombing kind of thing. It's more like it's just going to be beautifully progressive because like I said, the emperor and the empress are a perfect match. Okay. That's the energy both of you come in with. And let me say what else for Virgo. Yep. There you go. The Hierophant. I mean, I'm telling you Virgo, I feel like this, this relationship with this person is just going to really fall together beautifully just it will just conform the expectations you will meet each other's expectations i mean i know it sounds like so much hyperbole but not with these cards honestly because i just see this beautiful progression happening with this person and i do feel <clears throat> this is going to be a bit unexpected like a bit of a surprise connecting with this person and this is for those of you that are like I, i'm not kidding like you do not have a romantic thought in your head about anyone in particular um this is for those of you who even if you are chatting with someone there's not it could just be a friendship kind of thing there's you know what i mean it's like completely like there isn't even a, a person in your mind that you have your your eyes or your heart set on this is just something that's going to come out of the blue at this point okay we do have taurus energy here as well yeah you two have been like like i said walking the same path struggling um trying to get yourselves like you know because this can be a card about like poverty or feeling like out in the cold okay or feeling like you're on your own and i don't know i just feel like you two connect you meet somehow and it's just beautiful everything comes into harmony everything comes into balance very peaceful kind of connection with this person okay let me see if i could get some other messages here i want to take a look at maybe some physical features about this person how you will recognize them um and also i'm going to start here with some other qualifiers for you about this person okay all right so you've got short 
term. Okay. So I feel like this person has had some short-term relationships as of late. Now, if they have a child, they might have had a long term with someone and something ended because the Ten of Swords is there. So I feel like this person has been dating, trying to, um, you know, find the person that's going to fit them, um, looking for their twin flame. This is a twin flame connection that I feel like this person will feel. They might not use the word twin flame. They might not even know what that means, but they have a feeling of a twin flame, like, you know, oh, Virgo, is this is this is the person I'm going to pursue. This is the one that fits me. Okay, for some of you, um, so young male, someone sporty, <laughs> youth, or at least youthful looking. They may not be young, or they might have a young look to them, be youthful looking. They drive a nice car, or they're into cars. You might see them in a car show. Uh, it could be someone you buy a car from, if you're thinking of buying a car. I don't see that you are buying a car. I'm just seeing if you're thinking about it or some connection to vehicles or cars or the auto industry and what else oh okay so past life fell in the reverse um so what i will say is past life in reverse when it's in the upright, this is like a deja vu. This is like, feel like you've known each other before. This energy is really not here, okay? So this is like somebody completely new. So there isn't going to be this coveted connection when you first meet them where it's going to be someone that you feel like you um, can't, it's not going to be karmic. It's not going to be someone where you feel like, You've known each other before. Now you can never let this person go, no matter who they are or how they treat you. This is, feels like a fresh burst of energy from this person. And actually, I like that past life is in reverse. Number one, it's not a past person. So it's definitely new love. Number two, um, it's something new to explore. Okay, so I know a lot of times people are like, oh, I feel like I've known you before and that kind of thing. And then if the relationship doesn't work out, then there's a lot of confusion because it would feel like, but it seemed like we were meant to be together, right? Um, and then it's difficult to make sense of that. And then it's hard to let go of that. This is not that, th it, which is really different. It's strange because we don't usually get messages like this. This feels more like such a fresh burst of, of energy here that it's not connected like you're not going to feel like oh I feel like I've known you before you're going to feel more like oh well who are you oh well hello and this is like you want to learn and get to know each other more so you know for some of you like I said you could have conversations or you could be talking to this person already where nothing is really written in stone or it's not meant for dating you know um, but there isn't this uh, you know, uh, feeling like, oh, I, I know we're, we're supposed to be together. It's just a matter of time. This is kind of a surprise. It's going to come out of the blue where you and this person connect. And it's like, I don't know. I just kind of feel like, I don't know how to explain it. It's exciting. I'm just feeling excitement because of that eight of wands. This is like, like, wow, exciting. <laughs> I don't know how to keep saying that. It's like you feel inspired because it's something very new here. Do you know what I mean? And it, it's like, it's new love. It's nothing that you'll ever experience or that, uh, that you've experienced before. This person is going to remind you of anyone you were with before. This is, it's like trying a new food for the first time. It's something that you've never tasted. It's like seeing an alien. <laughs> you know, from outer space. It's so hard to conjure up what they could possibly look like if that you've never seen any pictures, you know. Um, it's just out of this world. This just whole thing feels like kind of otherworldly, this connection with this person for you. So it's brand new. There's nothing I'm feeling with this person that's really going to trigger anything as well from your past. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, it's like a brand new adventure. Okay, so you got family, origin, soul family groups. This is beautiful. This is going to feel like a, this is someone that, it just feels really easy. This is someone that you'll be, there'll be like a meeting of family members. It's just going to go, be, it's just going to go so nice. Like you will fit in with their family. They will fit in with yours. 
It almost feels like a BFF situation as well. Yeah, a lot of travel between the two of you as well. Um, or a desire, or they could be far away. Like I said, they fly in. You fly in. Um, but it doesn't feel like, oh, that's how the whole entire relationship is going to be for the rest of your lives. It, somebody's definitely going to relocate or move. There you go. The home. So this is a situation where you two will, you know, going forward in the future, buy a home together, um, or someone will relocate, and it's just so, just happily ever after kind of thing. I mean, some of you, I know you're younger, you'll be able to have a family with this person, and others of you, this is just like companionship for life. This is like your person to do things with, to enjoy your life with, and it's just, it's like finally coming home. That's, that's kind of how I feel. It's like you're finally coming home with the person you're meant to be with. Let's see if we can get some physical features. Okay, physical features for Virgo. Oh, hello, man bun. So this person might wear a man bun, or you do. Okay. <laughs> so they have kind of longish hair. I do feel like um, if it's a male, it's uh, if it's a male, it's someone who has longish hair. If it's female, the female wears their hair up in a bun a lot. And they might do from like June to August also because the weather is really warm. Okay, we've got somebody here who wears glasses. So they could wear glasses all the time or they have reading glasses. They wear reading glasses. Let me see what else. There we go. Okay, we've got someone who's tattooed. <laughs> what a, what a, wow. Someone who wears a man bun, wears glasses, and they have tattoos. It's like a big teddy bear <laughs> for the girls. This is like, or, you know, if you like guys, whatever your situation is, this is like somebody who's, it's like they're, it's like they're a smart kind of rebel. It's like this person is like really smart, kind of hippie-ish, like, not hippie-ish, but like, you know, that, you know, growing your hair out is kind of like a freedom movement kind of thing for guys that grow their hair out. So they're kind of like a, a tough person or they're really like they have tattoos, but they're very smart. I just feel like someone who's extremely intelligent and very smart. Like you'll find this person, um, like if you saw them at like a, they might be a tattoo artist too, but you find this person like sitting in a coffee shop reading biker magazines um, and also studying physics. That's kind of this, <laughs> it's kind of this energy. Uh, I'm also hearing that they ride a motorcycle or they have some kind of connection to that. And also um, if it, for the, those of you who like females, this is someone who has like colorful hair. They might have like color streaks in their hair and they have tattoos and they're real like, I'm also picking up someone who might be into music. And, um, okay, so both of these, the males and the females are very tall as well. They're not very, very tall, but they're just someone who's tall. And one more, actually two more. Okay, so the female looks like the females at average weight. This could be you as well for the ladies. Um, the females average weight. Okay, the guy does have curly hair, but wears it in a man bun, so it's kind of long. This is so crazy, Virgo. I feel like, I don't know what to feel. I feel like this is kind of exciting for you. I feel like you're going to make some kind of connection. You might meet, but but you. I feel like you will connect with this person at an outdoor event or some kind of reception or a party or a picnic, um, or they're in town. Um, they could be friends of a family member that somebody connects you with. Uh, I would bookmark this video and hold on to this because I feel like this energy, let me see if I can pick up like an actual date when this person is going to come in for you. in June. Oh. Okay. Now for some of you, like I said, you have already connected with this person um, in some strange way. <laughs> um, and I know that we only have two weeks left of June, but what I'm picking up is June 26th. I feel like June 26th, which is um, like next Monday, not this Monday, but next Monday, that week before the month is out. Okay, so we'll be doing another singles reading on the 25th, but June 26th is the, let's see, 
It's the first quarter moon, so it's going to be a half moon. And I'm just picking up a yin-yang energy with that half moon, half dark, half light. Definitely, like, I feel like this is going to be a situation with someone that you're definitely meant for like you both being meant for each other so i love that all right i'm going to leave your singles reading there for you i hope you guys enjoy that i hope that's something you have to look forward to and as you guys know this is a general reading so it may happen for you it may not that's okay just come back on the following sunday i always do the singles readings on sunday lots of fun hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your sunday into monday and i will see you all back here tomorrow all right take care bye